Hello and welcome to the lecture. Let's understand type of languages that we have. So we have three different types of languages. First is called as programming languages, scripting languages and markup languages. You have to understand the difference between them because they have written and implemented differently. And the purpose of each of this language is to solve a different challenges. Okay. So you have to understand this what you're trying to learn, right? When you're trying to learn a language, whether it is a programming language, scripting language or a markup language. So the examples of a programming language are like C, C++ and Java. The most important job of a programming language is to interact with the machine. Program like C, C++ and Java are famous examples of how they can really interact with this machine. So they have this machine level language converted using which they can really interact with the hardware as well. Okay. That's the power of the programming language. So when you're learning a programming language, you are mostly learning how do you interact with your machines right and if you want to write machine level programming this kind of programming languages will help you do that let's look at scripting language so php javascript python and ruby are scripting language they are built on top of the programming languages okay they are not the underlying languages they use like c c plus plus or java or other programming language and they are built on top of it to solve a specific challenge well php is a scripting language that runs on the server if you want to run a program on the server side you write php if you want to run a program on the client side you do javascript again ruby runs on the server side python can also be written on the server side and also ruby and python can do many more than just running on the server side you can write desktop applications as well but remember that scripting languages actually built on top of any other programming languages they use some internal libraries and they are built on top of it so whenever you're working with scripting language you will find it is easier compared with the programming language because they implement all the complex logic in the behind and then they give you very easy implementation to write those programs that's why scripting languages get famous right javascript python php ruby they're all very famous compared to c c plus plus because all the complex logic is already pre-written in these languages and when you try to use them you're not implementing those complex logic rather you're using those libraries which has implemented all those complex logic into it okay that's why they are very famous the other type of language is called as markup language html and xml is markup language html has a different purpose html is used in web to link the resources we're going to learn about what is html and all those things but remember html and xml are called as markup language because the way they write it they mark it up all the details inside the file and when they mark it they say what they are marking up they are marking up to link a resource they are marking up to display a content or they are marking up to link another file into the server for this lecture understand there are three types of languages programming languages scripting languages and markup languages and you have to understand the differences between this three of it well programming languages are mostly used as compilers so we're going to look at what is compiler and interpreter next but understand programming languages uses compiler to compile the code and scripting languages are interpreted they don't need to compile it they run as it is so we're going to see an example how this works in the real time and the next section will be to understand compiler and interpreter okay so that's all for this lecture of different types of languages that we have let's look at compiler versus the interpreter 